What's up, what's up? I am just taking this uh, cheap primer that I got from Ulta and priming both of my lids. As you can see, I put a little bit too much. So I had to really make sure that I blended that out so I didn't look like a freaking clown. Um, and I'm just going to be going in with the shade Bamboo by MAC as a transition color. It's a really, really soft brown that I use all the time and it pretty much works well with any colors that I'm using so I like to use it. And you guys know the drill, the drill deal, blend, 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 blend. Um, the next color that I am going to be going in with is Soft Brown, also by MAC. Um, and I'm just putting that in my crease as well, um, just to kind of darken it up a little bit more, to give it a little bit of depth. And blend, 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 blend. Now, what you gonna do with a crew that got money much longer than yours and a team much stronger than yours? Violate me, this to be your. And for my lid color, I am going in with Copper Ring, and this is also by MAC, and it is this copper, burnt orangish, reddish color. Um, with a with a kind of like a shimmer to it and it's really really pretty um, I use this pretty often as well when I want like a little pop of color but something that's not too too dramatic um, this is what I like to go to it's super super pretty and it kind of like it just goes you know what I mean it just goes with everything so I really really like to use it I'm just applying it all over my lid now I'm just taking a clean um, blending brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges of that on my lid and making it all seamless and whatnot into the other two transition colors so now I am just going in with this shade Motif, and this is also by MAC once again. And I'm just going to place that into the inner corners of my eyes. I did go ahead and do my lashes and my liner off camera just for the sake of the video. And now I'm just going back in with that same lid color, and I am applying it to... Um, my lower lash line. The more money we come across, the more problems we see. Okay, so now I'm just taking um, Maybelline's Master Conceal Camouflage and Concealer, and this is in 40 medium, and I am going to um, highlight and conceal on, under both of my eyes, uh, my chin, around my um, lip area, and a little on my nose and also my forehead as well. And I'm just going to take a sponge and blend all of that out. Now, who's hot, who not? Tell me who rock, who sell out in the stores? You tell me who um, After that, I'm going back in with a lighter shade. This is also by Maybelline. Um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me in the color Sand number 20. Yeah, sand number 20, and I am just going to repeat the same process. Bet they know me now. I'm the young Harlem nigga with the Goldie sound. Can't no PD niggas hold me down. Cooler, school me to the game. Now I know my duty. Stay humble, stay low, blow like booty. True pimp niggas, spin no dough on the booty. When you yell, they go mean, stay go your cutie. You rather see me die than to see me fly. I call all the shots, rip all the spots, rock all the rocks, cop all the drops. I know you thinking now when all the ball is stopped. Nigga never home, gotta call me on the yacht. Ten years from now, we'll still be on top. Yo, I thought I told you that we won't stop. Now, what you gonna do with a crew that got money much longer than yours? And a team much stronger than yours? Violate me, this will be your day. We don't play. I like to just go back in after I conceal 
with my foundation brush and kind of blend out um, the edges where the concealer stopped so everything is nice and blended and it's not a harsh transition from the concealer and the foundation. So for some reason today, I did this a little backwards, but we just gonna walk with it. So I'm using my Wet n Wild um, Contouring Palette to give my face a little bit of warmth and a little bit more definition, you know. And I'm just going to set my face with um, Kat Von D's Lock It Translucent Satin Powder mixed with my Sasha Buttercup um, setting powder as well. And I'm just going to put those in all the spots that I applied my concealer. But for the rest of my face, I'm going to take my MAC Studio Fix um, powder in the shade in C43. And I am applying that everywhere else. So as I'm dusting off the setting powder, I'm also swiping a little bit of the Studio Fix powder because I don't like that white flashback look and this kind of prevents that. So I always do it and, you know, I don't have any issues. So for blush, I am taking Breezy by MAC. And this is one of my favorite blushes, and I find myself always, always, always using it when I'm trying to use some other blushes. So if you guys recommend any of them, please give me the name so I can get some new damn blush. <laughs> um, but for highlight, I am going to use these two shades by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And they're in the shade Summer and Moonshine. Stone in my bed and just applying that to the high points of my face. Look at that glow, baby. That glow was serious, baby. And finally, for lips, you guys, I am using uh, Jordana. What is it? Cabernet. Cabernet. Yeah. Jordana's lip liner pencil in the shade Cabernet. And it's like this deep dark plum color one of my faves once again I always use this as well and for the actual lip I'm using NYX's soft matte lip cream and this is in the shade Copenhagen and it's pretty much identical to that lip pencil and I just think that it is like a perfect combo guys and that is it for the video Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and I will see y'all in my next video. Peace out. Don't play, mess around with D-O-A, be on your way Cause it ain't enough time here, ain't enough lime here for you to 